Hello everyone. Um, I just took a sip of my coffee because I really need it. So I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I tried to record this video earlier and I realized that I was being way too negative and I didn't want to make this video is so negative because I don't want to jeopardize my job because I really like my job. That is hinting at what we're talking about today. So, today I'm going to talk about something that I have wanted to talk about for a while now. If you don't know, I am a barista at Starbucks. I have been working at Starbucks for about four months now. I really, really, really enjoy it. The company is amazing. I love their mission statements. I just love everything about this company. I think it's such a great company to work for and I think that if you like coffee and you like doing good for other people and things like that and you just really love positivity and you love helping communities, um, I'm just kind of ranting. And I think that if you really want to make a difference in people's lives in a way that's kind of simple, I definitely think that this is a good job for you. Um, with that being said, today's video is going to be a way for me to get all of these things off of my chest about my job that I don't really like that much. Um, while being a barista at Starbucks is amazing and it's definitely changed my life in so many ways, even though that sounds really dumb, I'm being completely honest, um, there are a lot of things I don't like about my job and it's not the job itself. <laughs> It's the people that I have to deal with and the situations that I have to deal with. I'm gonna try and keep this more positive than my other take because I don't want anyone to get offended. But these are just some things that I want to throw out to you guys so that you can make your experience at Starbucks as best as it can be because one of the things that I don't appreciate is when a customer tries to tell me how to make a drink that um, I clearly know how to make because I was trained on how to make it and we have um, certain standards to make it. A lot of the times when I'm making drinks what I experience is that a customer will be like, you know, like being a hawk over by the pickup counter, like waiting for their drink, like watching. Sometimes they'll be like, hey, are you making my drink? And I'll be like, is your name blah blah blah? Like, is your drink blah? And they'll be like, no. And I'm just like, and it's really awkward and um, a lot of times when I'm making something they'll watch me make it and they'll try to tell me as I'm making it how to make it and it's just like if you like your drink a certain way just tell your barista how you want it to be made like say for example if you're getting a chai and you don't like it to taste watery ask for no water um, if you don't like foam in your latte just say no foam and then we'll mark it on the cup so that we know how to make it for you, but if you don't say it, then they're not going to mark it on the cup and then I'm just going to make it by standard and that may not be how you like it. So um, yeah, if you like your drink made a certain way, just tell your barista so that the person on bar doesn't have to deal with that awkward situation when you're like, I didn't want foam in my latte! And the barista's like, well, we put the foam in there by standard and then they have to start all over and it's an awkward situation for everyone. I hate it when people play audio in the hallway, like, there are things called headphones for a reason. Number two, another thing that I really don't appreciate is that when I'm on bar and a customer will come up to the pickup area and tell me to get something for them that I'm not allowed to do. So a lot of people probably don't know this because, well, you don't have to know it, but um, we are all assigned certain tasks um, during our shift and those tasks rotate throughout the shift. Um, someone will be on register or point of sale as we call it, someone will be on bar and someone will be on customer support, which is the person who's responsible for making sure everything is functioning in the store, like making sure everything's stocked, like the lids and the ice and the beans and the cups and just anything else that we may need back behind the counter and also that things are stocked in the bathroom and that the condiment bar is looking nice. So if I'm making a drink and you walk up to me and expect me to stop what I'm doing to go like fill the toilet paper, that's not really something I can do because I'm not allowed to leave the espresso bar, especially if there's a long line of drinks. And it's just a really frustrating situation when a customer expects you to do something and you don't really exactly know how to explain to them that you can't move 
from what you're doing because you're in the middle of something. Um, and of course the customer always comes first, but um, I have a ton of other customers that need to come first as well. So um, if you need something, just always try to go to someone who doesn't look like they have their hands full, I guess. Yeah, that's all I really have to say about that one. Number three. Another thing that makes me frustrated is that when customers get mad at me for repeating their order, now this is just something that kind of blows my mind because I don't repeat the order because I like I, I speak the same language as you, um, I know what's going on, it's not that like I'm not paying attention, like I don't understand, I'm repeating the order because I want to make sure it's correct. So if someone like, I repeat their order and they're like, <sighs> like they're getting all huffy about it, I'm just like, well, I'm just trying to make sure your drink tastes the way it wants to. Tastes the way you want it to, ma'am or mister. So, um, yeah, if your barista repeats your drink, it's not because they're not listening. It's because they want to make sure that they're going to market correctly so that it can then be made correctly. Number four. Another thing that I really don't like about um, working at Starbucks is that my hands will never ever look pretty again. So my hands, as you can tell, they're small. I think they're cute. I used to think my hands were really cute. I used to have really cute nails. They used to be perfectly square. Um, my hands used to be really soft, but now my knuckles especially are just like reptilian dry, so disgusting. Like. Don't come anywhere near my hands because they are nasty. Um, there's burns on them. Like, I've had this burn for about a month. It still hasn't healed all the way. And I burnt my neck at the same exact time and my neck healed so much faster. Um, my nails are just always falling apart. Uh, I can never paint them again because that's against our dress code. So if you want to be a barista, like, don't expect to have cute hands, like, ever again because you won't. Number five. I hate pumping chai with a passion because it comes out so forcefully and then it'll splash up out of the cup and then proceed to get fucking all over me and um, it just gets my glasses dirty, it gets my face dirty and then when I go out and do something after work people will be like, what's that on your face? And I'll be like, um, I don't know and then I'll like touch my eyebrow and it's all crusty because there's dried like chai in it and that's not a cute look. Number six, I really don't like it when people order from the secret menu and expect me to know what they're talking about. Like, um, baristas online always say, like, don't order from the secret menu and not tell us what the recipe is. And that's 100% true because, like a lot of people say on the internet, we aren't trained in the secret menu. Like, the secret menu, I don't know where it originated from. So, if you want a secret drink, don't come in and be like, I want a Captain Crunch because I don't know what that is. Like, um, you can't expect me to know what a Captain Crunch is. So if it's not on our menu above me, then I probably don't know how to make it. So please just tell me what the recipe includes and we will gladly make it for you. Um, it's so much easier that way because if you don't explain it, then the person who's marking the cup doesn't know what to do. And then once it gets to the barista on the bar, then they don't know how to make it. And then it disrupts the flow because we have to ask each other what the recipe is and we have to figure out who knows. And it's just like this big old guessing game. And it's not a lot of fun. Number seven. I really don't like it when customers either don't tell me what size they want or they wait until the last part of their drink order to tell me what size they want because my first instinct obviously is to grab the size cup and then start marking it. So if you have a really long complex order and you're telling it to me, I'm trying my best to remember everything that you said, but if you put the size at the very end, then I can't grab the cup and I can't start marking it as you're saying the order to me. So please, especially if you have a complex order with lots of customizations, Try to say the drink size first so that we can start marking the cup so we don't have to ask you to repeat the order. Number eight. I really don't like it when people order different size drinks and different size cups because I know that the only reason why you're doing it is because you want more than you pay for. And like, I get it. Like, I'm a poor college student too, but like, <laughs> it's just like so frustrating to me because I don't know how much to fill your cup. <coughs> <laughs> I'm like getting upset I'm coughing. Woo! Hold on. <laughs> so I'm not gonna know how much to put in your cup because obviously um, there's not gonna be a marking for like, this is what a tall would 
would be like in a grande cup. That's not how it works. And then, if I'm on espresso bar and I'm making your drink and you order a grande and a venti cup, I'm automatically gonna make a venti sized drink if I see a venti cup. Maybe that's just because I'm an idiot and I don't pay attention that well. Um, because, you know, sometimes we'll write like, tall size at the top, but that's not what I'm gonna look first. I'm just gonna start making it by instinct because I get in the zone and it's really hard for me to get out of the zone. Number nine, I really also don't like it when customers will try to scan their phone before I press the button. So for example, um, when a customer orders just a regular hot coffee, um, our standard is that we have to get them their coffee before we take their payment. Um, just so it can speed up the time that it takes for customers to get their money out and This is kind of dated now because most people use their phones anyway And all they have to do is like hold it up and that's what people do when I'm turning around getting their coffee They hold it up and a lot of the times I don't press the button because I don't know if they're gonna use their phone or not So then I don't press the button and then they walk away and their payment doesn't go through and I have to yell at them like Sir, ma'am, your payment didn't go through and then everyone looks at them like judgmental because they think that it's declined or something, but it's not. It's just that you scanned it before I was ready. So please just wait a moment. I get that you're all in a rush. I get that you need your coffee, but please just wait until your barista tells you to scan your phone. Thank you. And finally, the thing that is the most frustrating about my job Personally, um, I don't like that I never have a consistent schedule, and I don't know if this is just because I'm newer, but I never know what days I'm going to work each week. We get a new schedule every week, and um, for me, it's never the same. Like, lately I've been working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but I never know what time during those days I'm going to work. I could be working a seven hour shift, I could be working a four hour shift. I really don't know anymore and it's really frustrating for me because I feel like I'm never going to have a life again because I never am going to know when I have work so I can't make plans because what if I make plans when I have work and then I can't go through with it or I have to go through the trouble of finding someone to cover me and then I miss out on possible hours and then I miss out on money and it's just the most frustrating thing in the world like if I could change one thing about working for Starbucks, it would be that everyone had a consistent schedule because it would be so much easier for everyone and I would be a really happy camper. That is all I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, I hope that you take these things into consideration next time you go to Starbucks because we love to serve you, but um, it's really tough when you make our lives difficult because we have to deal with so many customers and it can be a little bit draining. So just please try to treat your baristas with respect overall and we will treat you with the best customer service you could possibly have. Um, now, I just wanted to say that um, I apologize for not uploading on my channel for a couple weeks. Um, I'm currently trying to figure out a new uploading schedule because I don't have alone time in this room really anymore. Um, I wanted to upload on weekends, but sadly that's not working out. So I'm trying to figure it out this week and I will let you guys know as soon as I figure it out. Um, I definitely want to keep a consistent upload schedule because um, it is my goal to make my channel grow. And um, to those of you who have recently joined, hi, um, I hope you enjoy your stay and I will talk to you guys Next time I see you all, until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye.